they're gonna start bringing them here. Woo! You see that? What is up, my people? How the heck are you? Now, in case you didn't watch the video before, I'm still at Chandler's house. Still doing some things over here. Got the baby insulator swipers. We just got all set up. They're Schmiggin kicking. In here, bro. They're kicking smash. And now we gotta check out Rusty. Rusty, last time I was here and did a video, Rusty was in shed. If you guys don't remember before, he was all dark and poopy colored. He just wasn't very handsome. Doodle and baby. then Shatid also had those scabs all over her face from the old water bowl. Um, she got cut up. If you didn't, if you didn't see that video, go check it out. But uh, yeah. Very unfortunate. My little girl got got hurt. It's okay. I was wooed, wooed for a while, but she's hopefully doing better. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take out Rusty first, get his cage nice and cleaned and situated, and then we're gonna take Shatid out, see how she's doing, and hopefully she hasn't shed yet. Or right has yet. she? No. Is that a shed? There is a shed is in it? here. There is. It does look like some kind of shed. Is that from the last time she shed? I don't know. It might be from the last one. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna take her out. It's gonna take a few times for her to shed. I'm guessing maybe like three or four times and hopefully she'll look like she did before. But yeah, she it's had a really shed. bad nose rub and then the whole back of her hood. But those bowls that I got, we are making sure that they are all nice and sanded. And I'm gonna take a, uh, I'm gonna take like some rubber tubing and we're gonna do a nice little rubber line around the whole thing. So that way there's no more funny business with these guys and everybody stays nice and secure. And I don't you don't want any sharp- that funny. It's not, it's not funny. It's not. It's not funny at all. But we're going to make sure everybody's super legit. So let's take out my boy Rusty and see what he's looking like. All right. So let's see how my boy is doing. I can't wait for these guys to come home. I said it in a couple of videos already. But my snake shed is getting delivered on the 24th of this month. So pretty freaking soon. Stay tuned for the setup of that. I'm going to film everything. I'm going to film the delivery. I'm going to film how they set it up. The electrical. All that stuff I have to do. If you're an electrician in the area or you do drywall or anything like that, hit your boy up because I really need some help. But let's see how Rusty is looking. It looks like he's got a little bit of stuck shed on him. So I want to just get him out and see how he's doing. Look at this, dude. My big, beautiful male King Cobra Rusty, who is just such a freaking, such a rad snake. I'm trying to pull that stuck shed off. Get him over like this. We'll put him right here on the can. Make sure he's nice and I probably should soak him. But let's uh ew, sorry. Ew, that doesn't sound very good. What are you a little uh a little cold there, Russ? Don't do that. I'm sorry, man. Poor guy. So actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and give Rusty a bath while we uh check out Shatid and clean his cage, because as you can see. He's got a bunch of stuck shed underneath him. I want him to get that off nicely. Look how big my boy is getting. He is just huge. Growing by the day. Next time I come over here, I'll come back in the next week or so. We'll do a nice feeding video of Rusty. It's time for him to get a good meal in. Oh, he's got a big old, he's got a big old stuck shed right there too. Let's see, come here, come here. Let's go to this little top part right here. Woo! Perfect. There you go, sir. I'm sorry. Whoa. Hello. He didn't like that very much, but he's such a gentleman. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, get this opened up. We're gonna fill this bucket up with some water and give Rusty a nice bath to shed that skin off. Oh, 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 excuse me, sir. Back in here. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, back in there. There you go. Sick. Get some water in this thing. Give him a nice, nice soapy soap. All right. I'm just gonna pour this whole freaking thing in there. Loosen up that shed. Excuse me, sir. Hey, back in the can, man. Take a drink. Gonna get the water all over him. Make it nice and humid in there. Get that stuck skin off of there. All right, just like that. Sorry, bro, the water's a little bit nipply. I know you don't like it. Excuse me. 
back in there. All right, let's get this cage cleaned. All right, so get the glass over here. Make sure that's nice and secure. Boom, boom, boom. We got some poop in here. We got some dirty water. A bunch of shed. Look at all this shed. He shed it in a bunch of pieces this time. Normally he sheds it all in one, but maybe uh, the humidity level is just a little bit different here than it was in the last room. It's been so cold. So yeah, the cold temperatures and stuff, probably just giving it a little bit of a drier environment. And uh, he's on this Aspen still too. I really like to keep everything on cypress mulch, just because it definitely holds the humidity a lot better than this freaking Aspen does. But not bad when you're in a pinch. That's the only reason why I brought this over last time because it's pretty much all I had. But we gotta get this switched out next time I'm here and feed him. So I'm gonna get this water bowl done, finish cleaning his cage, and then we're gonna put him back and take Shatid out and see how she looks. Rusty is still soaking. I wanna give him a good 15, 20 minute soak. So we're gonna take out Shatid and see how she's doing. Now, if you can notice on this cage, you see all these little marks right here? That is not poop, guys. That is blood. My poor girl just messed her face up so much she was bleeding, it was terrible. Ah, talk about anxiety. I hate being far away from my animals. I'm trying my hardest to get everything done and get these guys back home, you know? So, obviously it's none of our faults. We didn't really know about this, uh, this whole freaking water bowl situation. But uh, look how beautiful this snake still is. I love her, man. She's such a spunky king cobra. And she's just so freaking pretty. Look at that. So her head, dude, it's looking better than it was last time I was here. Yeah, I dude, mean, literally one shed later and she'll be still fine. Still a little bit crusty on the top. You can see it, dude, it's a good 12 inches down her, uh, right down her spine. She just kept raking and raking and raking her scales, going through that water dish. Poor girl. And it's crazy too, because the reason what I think was is that she just liked using that bowl as a hide box better than the hide box that she has in there. Look how big she's getting. Both of the hide boxes are pretty much the same size. That water bowl and the hide box that she has in there, you know, I didn't really think that she would favor one over the other, but I guess she liked that water bowl more. But I gotta be really careful with these guys. And once we get the new room, I'm gonna probably put, I have this idea, I've been talking to Mark over at Vision Cages about it. We're gonna start making these windows for the vision cages. So these six foot visions, we're gonna make it so that way you can cut a hole out of the side of two of them, put them side by side. So pretty much making a 12 foot vision cage. That way they have a nice little window that they can go in and out and transfer between both cages. And it also serve great for breeding purposes because we're gonna put a door. Look at that, she's so freaking cool. We're gonna put a door on the, uh, on the openings so that way you can separate your snakes easily. You know, that way if I wanna service one cage and they're on the other side, just close the door up and do whatever you gotta do. But just look how amazing this animal is. I love my female king. She's so much different than Rusty. You know, it's always nice to have a nice, tame, big king cobra, but then it's also nice to have a spunky one like this that comes at you, mouth open, and just gives you the real king cobra effect and experience. Because these snakes are just so freaking cool. Top apex predator, man. King cobra, longest venomous snake in the world. Doesn't get cooler than that. And hopefully one of these days, me and Chandler were just talking about it, having some leucistic. Imagine a huge freaking king cobra that's completely white. Imagine a 14 foot leucistic king cobra. Ooh, in that cage right oh. there. So. It'll sick. become more and more available as time goes on. It's just gonna be I so mean, dude, I got offered a six, seven footer when I was in Thailand. It was just like, wild it was, caught. It was uh, I don't know if it was wild caught. It was, it was in captivity, good looking snake, and they're offering it for like, phew, like 25, 30 Gs. And I was like, no thanks. I got I got fencing to pay for. Yeah, for real, same. But uh, there's already white kings in the U.S. and they're gonna start breeding them here. Woo! You see that? Just comes right at you. She is so freaking awesome. Get back here, sweetheart. She can't eat my Bushmaster. So cool. 
All right, um, we gotta put her in a holding receptacle so I can maintenance her cage as well. Get that nice and freshened up. It's getting warm in here. I was cold, I had my hoodie on. Now that I'm doing things, I'm starting to sweat. Start taking out venomous snakes. Get your blood going, get your heart pumping, make you feel alive. Mm. All right, gave my king cobra a bath. Look at this beautiful animal. Now he had a bunch of stuck shed on him. So I just wanted to make sure he got that all off. And it looks like he did. Hello, handsome sir. Look at this beautiful snake right here. Mwah. I gave him a kiss on the face. I love this animal so much. Rusty, you are awesome, dude. I can't wait for your home to be home every day. I miss handling this guy every day. Spent a lot of time together. So I'm just peeling off the excess skin that's still on him. I wanna make sure I'm doing it very carefully and I'm not making him angry, because obviously he is a king cobra and one bite from this guy will put you down under. All right, so he's nice and wet. Looks beautiful. Oh man, I love this snake. Look how big he's getting. He's just such an impressive king. Let's put him back in his home. There you go, sir. Look at that beautiful orange on him. Hence the name Rusty. What a handsome, handsome snake. Oh, get you nice in there. Hell yeah, there you go, son. I'll feed you in a few days. Beautiful. All right, guys, that is it. This is how to take care of the kings. Come over here to Chance. Thank you, bro, for keeping my animals again. You're freaking awesome. Uh, what can I say? Uh, stay tuned, guys. Lots of things coming. The property is getting there. We got the building coming. Everything is coming along, man. We got the cow coming soon. We got goats coming soon. We got baby Ooh. emus soon. The chickens are growing up. Hoofstock play date. It's gonna be. Oh yeah, Chandler's getting something soon too. Yeah, it could Stay have tuned. hooves. It could have could fins. It could have whatever. You know, I don't know. TylerNolanTattoos.com for all your merch. Go on there. Get some sweet merch. We got shop shirts. I got Tyler Nolan shirts. We got all sorts of stuff on there. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Comment down below. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Hope y'all have a great week. Bye. Thank you.